you'll have to pardon the chemtrails in the background skies. It's usually a lot more purtier out here in Idaho. What's happening ladies and germs out there in YouTube land? I got a good one for you today. All right, so I had a member of the Terminator Army, Robert Funk, out in California, and asked if the science dudes within the Terminator Global Industries Laboratories would be able to conjure up a sniper tactical stock Put out there a Benjamin Marauder PCP air rifle. Now Rob's not the first customer to inquire about that uh, particular rifle. Seems that I've heard that request many a time before. So anyways, we set about designing a uh, Terminator tactical sniper stock for the Benjamin Marauder. And this here <coughs> is the final version of that there said tactical stock. So, as you can see, the ergonomics are just like all the other Terminator tactical stocks in the lineup, like the Air Venturi Avenger, the Umarex Gauntlet, the AEA Challenger El Chipo, and uh, Bara NZ1000. N Bara NZ1100 or whatever. That. Anyways, the Bara, yeah. <clears throat> I basically didn't have a Marauder of my own anymore I used to have one but I sold it then uh, Robert sent us his told us to use his to design the platform off of the initial prototype that is in Robert's hands right now testing I'll show you that right next so yeah Rob's Marauder came to us with this uh, custom spray on uh, camo job and then he wanted his uh, tactical stock in uh, tan so yeah, like I said, it's our first prototype. We've done a little bit uh, fine tuning of the uh, graphics and the aesthetics, thicknesses, and uh, yeah, she turned out real cool. But uh, yeah, that was our initial rendering right there. Rob's got that. He's out there torture testing it right now. I'll just go over the features real quick, just like all the other uh, tactical stocks. We got the M-Lock bipod mounts as well as Picatinny rail down below. You can see, check the air pressure gauge from down below. We got the uh, AR compatible ergonomic pistol grip running the uh, adjustable butt stock in the rear for the shoulder rest. Um, monopod available, bolt onto this, Terminator monopod. We got the tactical muzzle band up front, Picatinny rails on all three sides for your sling hoop, your laser, or your spotting lamp. Up front, we just went with a synthetic short dog LDC. We got the baffles still inside the shroud. So between the baffles and the synthetic short dog, she's just whisper quiet. And then uh, <coughs> running this CV Life Bear Power Scope 5 to 25 by 56, 34 illuminated reticle performance optic, which was uh, sent into the channel for a recent review. I'll leave that video link down below if you want to check out the review of this here optic for our scope cam. We're running the Orion adapter to the Firefly scope cam with the side shot. And then I've got a Terminator uh, rear scope mount on there, which eliminates the use of the bars and clamp. And it's a lot more solid uh, than, those than those bars are. So yeah, uh, anything else about this? Uh, but yeah, my plans for this are to uh, Eliminate the baffles by shortening the shroud, probably five inches, get it more compact. That'll be real nice. And then just run, I'll probably just end up running a wiener dog up front, keep the noise down. <clears throat> and then other than that, yeah, it's really, I just took it out of the box. Didn't even adjust a thing. Just tested Hades and tested the Crossman hollow points. Hades were only doing about 800 feet per second. The Crossman hollows were close to 850. So for the trajectory, I went with the Crossman hollows just because of the velocity it was a little bit better. Yeah, as you'll see in the video, the Crossman hollows, they don't do a very, uh, very great job at uh, quickly exterminating that, them sky rats. There's pros and cons to that, which you'll see in the video, which the pros being that since those projectiles didn't have any expansion, 
they was just kind of zipping through the quarry and I got a couple double keels and then also when they hit the quarry it doesn't make like a pop or a firecracker sound like some of the expanding pellets and slugs if you just shoot them at like high power and you get a lot of expansion it sounds like a firecracker going off and it spooks all the other blades so I did notice that with them crossman hollows uh, the keels weren't as humane as some of the the more expanding hunting projectiles but it was allowing me to get more shots on other blades because it wasn't spooking the whole flock of them away with the first shot and having to wait for them to come back and land so uh yeah pros and cons i did have to do a couple follow-up shots as you see in the video which is uh we had a couple zombie uh collards uh, walking around trying to uh, make a run for it but uh other than that yeah it was a good outing <coughs> and uh Terminator marauder tactical sniper stock performed flawlessly and uh if you guys want to get one of those i'll leave a link in the description down below or just uh if they're not on the store yet just text me up and i'll get you one uh they're available in all of our different color ways so army green desert tan you know black we got the fades the chameleon fade the uh the jungle fade we got the uh, devil dog fade and then of course we got bronze and white like you name it we have all the colors anyway really stoked on this ben benjamin uh marauder Terminator tactical sniper stock. If you have a Benjamin Marauder sitting in the gun safe collecting dust, you owe it to yourself to pick up one of these here tactical stocks and inject some new life in your Benjamin Marauder so you can enjoy it for years to come. Anyways, check out this footage right next and I'll catch you guys on the next video. nice so yeah like I done said we're gonna be using these f14.3 grain Crosman not so hollow point pellets on them sky rats but for a budget banger these projectiles here are a little over one penny per unit so you can't go wrong with that Alright, so we just rolled up on the permission and there's several blades around. So we're gonna get on them real quick. Hopefully this here marauder held her zero during the transport over. Fingers crossed. Let's let her re up. Didn't even have time to tuck in my boots. Looking like a dork. But this ain't no fashion contest. This is a pest extermination. And a terminator is about to do just that. It's a pack of evil starlings flying overhead. Okay. Solid connection right there. The first customer of the day, an invasive Khaled dove. Let's give him some of that famous Terminator customer service. Bullseye, right in the bread basket. Okay, so let's see how this thing's shooting. Back up to about 35 yards and check her out. Alright, decent grouping for them Crosmans. I think that'll do the trick. Alright, we spotted several more invaders across the way. Let's get on them.
Took down a full platoon of college right there. High double kill. That shot right there went right through the wing bone of the first collet. Rico and went right through the head of the second collet. Knocked these eyeballs clean out of his head. Let's double up again right here. Oh, is he gonna fly away? Nope, he ain't gonna fly away. Hot done located the seed stash, you some bitch. Timonated. We got a college zombie. He's making a run for it. Oh, the some bitch ducked his head right when I was pulling the trigger. Well, goddamn. I got my boy cut out for me. For this guy. Oh my god. Terrible. We got a Khaled and Veda right here, just slowly perspiring on the spot. But we gonna speed up that process. That uh, shot ought to do the trick. This guy again. Timing Aiden's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Well, that's about all I got for you guys today. It ain't gonna be no more kill shots in this here video. But to summarize, props goes out to Robert Funk out in California for uh, kicking off this here project. Took the Marauder straight out of the box. Synthetic short dog on there. Terminator tactical sniper stock on there. Took her straight out to the permission no adjustments was performed just shot her as delivered and uh, yeah she did all right considering the projectiles that we was using was on the budget orientated end of the spectrum I ain't gonna complain pigeon tacos gonna be on the menu a pigeon pot pie a pigeon porridge a pigeon papa's